Okay guys, today we'll be taking my Norinco NHM91, which is this here, and modifying it with some new accessories that I had for, I've had them for quite a while now, but just haven't been able to get the time to put it together. But anyhow, we're going to do that today and I'm going to share it with you in case you have a rifle you would like to do yourself. Alright guys, well first things first, first thing we'll do is check our rifle for safe. It's something you always want to do when you're, you know, modifying or working on or just cleaning something. Just make sure it's safe. All these accidents that are so freak and horrible, they can be prevented a large portion of them. But anyway, first thing I'll do is remove the cover here. Alright, well the removal of the cover here, as you can see this plunger here, if you notice it's not sticking out very far. Typically this plunger will stick out, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch maybe or so, somewhere along those lines. But anyway, <clears throat> I had taken this rifle apart and fitted everything up prior to doing the video. And the, the top screw and the back tang here is the reason this isn't sticking out so far because the screws in my rifle were pretty buggered up, so I had to, I'm going to get new wood screws for it. But anyway, we're going to check our safe. And as you can see, there's nothing in the chamber. Everything's good to go. So I'll remove the spring and just simply push in on the plunger. And it pulls out of the track and retract the spring. And the bolt removal, the back of the receiver here, you will see a couple of places notched out of the sheet metal and they run from here back to here and you just pull the bolt out line it up with those grooves and it just comes out we'll place that right here I don't know if you can see it or not but all the screws in my rifle had really shallow heads and the steel was really mild so let's see if I can zoom in there just a little bit if you can see that head is it doesn't have a whole lot of meat in it to it but uh, first thing we'll do with this is just remove that grip screw it's kind of hard to get it on film So the, the nut fell out of it, so the screws were released. Now I'll flip it over and simply remove the two wood screws. And I'll show you here that the heads are, they were really buggered up from the, from the factory. As you can see there, that back one especially, that's why I wasn't able to tighten them all the way because I wanted to make sure I could get them back out. Therefore it was holding the plunger out or in rather. We just remove the two wood screws. This rear tang screw here. Like I said, it's I can, having trouble removing it right now. Remove the front. All right. All right, guys, for removal of the rear stock here, where they do the inletting around the receiver, the wood actually goes in the receiver. Where they do that, they can be kind of tight, so what I'll do is take my rubber mallet from my garage. I'll put a towel over the wood. I know the wood on these things isn't really good or anything, but I'll, if I got stuff impregnated in the head of that mallet where I'm hitting on rotors or what have you, I don't want it to gouge into my wood, so I'll just take this rubber mallet and just gently pop it out a little bit until you can get it to release fairly easily, like so. And there we have it. Alright everybody, our next step is going to be to remove the front, upper, and lower handguard. 
In order to remove the front hand guard, there's a little lever here on the front trunnion, just below the sight there, you can see. What you need to do is just pop that up, probably, I don't know, not quite 90 degrees. Alright guys, once you have your lever at almost 90 degrees to the to the front plane of the rifle, you just simply lift up on your rear upper wood stock, which is actually attached to the gas tube. I'll zoom in there and show you a little bit better how that lever works. See that cam turns into the rear of the gas block and locks it in place. You can notice right here, that's like a cam sticking out. And it just simply locks your gas tube in place. And here's the part of the half moon there that this cam actually turns into. Okay, so we've got our gas tube and our front upper hand guard removed. And in order to remove it, all you will do is turn this piece of wood 180 degrees and then it'll pull out. I'll show you that. Alright, I've turned it approximately 180 and I'll zoom in and show you here how it actually engages. Okay, if you'll notice on the hand guard on the piece of wood itself, I got that notch milled in all around it or inlet. It's the same front and rear, and this black sheet metal stamp part here, you turn that wooden groove into it, and it keeps it. So you just pull it out like that. It's a very simple design, and it's just engineering into it is fantastic. Okay, the next step, we're ready to remove our lower hand guard here. In order to do that, you'll see this assembly right here. Well, there's a small lever in there. It's actually a cam. Get some light on to show you. With this lever here, you want to pry under it and cam it over this way. So what I like to do, and I know the wood's not, you know, super nice or anything like that, but in order to protect my stock. I'll take a little shop towel and a screwdriver and I will pry against the screwdriver. I got the shop towel to keep from putting a dimple in my wood, which I think it's somebody had removed it prior and it was dimpled just a little. Might have even been from the factory. But anyway, once I get the lever cammed up a little bit, I'll take a small hammer just gently tap it over the rest of the way. Okay, now that, that will release this front keeper piece now. And you just loosen it, slide it forward. Right, our next step is to remove the front lower hand guard. And what I like to do is kind of pull up on it just a touch. And I'll wiggle it back a little bit and it simply pulls out. And then just do the inverse to reinstall. Just kind of hold it up a little bit, cam it down, and push it forward. It's a very simple design, but effective. All right, guys, I know there's a lot of brilliant people on YouTube, and they don't mind telling you that sometimes. But anyway, this is for the, the novice or for the people that, you know, I just like to help out if they don't know. I'll go through just some of the generic names of the couple components. This part here being, I would consider it the, re the rear sight block, or, and then I'll show you down in here. You might hear people use the term trunnion. I'll 
I'll show you what that is. A little light. That block down in there. Right in here, that's that's your trunnion piece. So you got the sight block. And then down in the receivers your your trunnion there. And they're pinned together. <laughs> 